I know that you're sort of the guy they go to when they have just random voices that need to be done because you can do anything. Are there voices that cause you particular difficulties? Um, actually, Junior's pretty high to do because this is my natural speaking voice. <laughs> Junior's like way up there, so uh, especially in the morning when we have to do a table read, uh, it takes me a little while to catch up. You know, I got to do some vocal warm ups because you know, the first thing in the morning when I try to do it, it's like, bah, bah. <laughs> Daddy, will you wipe me? You know, and then he, then eventually later on, I warm up and he's like, Daddy, will you wipe me? You know, are we still going to William Sonoma? But first thing in the morning, it takes, actually, it takes a little bit before I get there. But there are no other sort of classes of voices that take you a little bit longer to sort of get into? Ooh, man, uh, at the moment, I can't. Yeah, maybe one or two, to a little bit. You gotta do a little listen to, but at the moment I, I can't recall which one. Which are the most fun voices? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 all of them. All of them, uh, the President Obama I love doing and stuff like that, you know, uh, Bill Cosby and stuff like that, you know. So now tell me what's coming up this season on The Cleveland Show. Uh, Halloween uh, episode uh, that's coming up. Uh, Cleveland goes back to his uh, high school, uh, like, uh, nemesis a football team he goes uh, to his old football team as rivals to uh cause mayhem and cause a prank that goes haywire and backfires uh cleveland jr dresses as i believe uh cleveland senior uh roberta dresses up as the mother for halloween and stuff like that and then we have an illuminati episode with uh Nicki minaj kanye west uh, will i am quest love uh, Bruno Mars, uh, Cleveland finds out that they're all part of the Illuminati and running, you know, running the world, and they try to initiate him. Now, know. if Cleveland Jr. dresses as Cleveland, does that mean you get to do your version of Cleveland Jr. doing Cleveland's voice? I probably did, and I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and how many times do you get to sing this season is the big question. Uh, good question. I don't remember how many times he did sing, actually. Uh, I think at least two. But I can't remember what songs they gave me to do. I feel like they probably just have to come up with excuses and they just set, me, set you going. Yeah, even if they're not doing a song, I guess they just throw it at me anyway just to mess with me. And, and Kanye, he's been on the show enough. Is he just old hat when he comes in at the table or he's just, oh, Kanye again, whatever? No, he still has a little tiny entourage and people still kind of, you know, Google eye at him and stuff. So it, it's very cool. And he's, he's actually very cool to work with, too. So. And tell me a bit about Thanksgiving episode. The Thanksgiving episode, uh, Junior finds out that, you know, to have uh, Thanksgiving turkey, you have to actually kill him to eat him. And he's, actually, he's shocked about it, so Cleveland Senior takes him out and pretends he's taking him out on a fun trip, I believe, to like Chuck E. Cheese's or something like that, and uh, knocks him out and he wakes up in the forest with a gun and a hunting jacket and everything, and Cleveland's tried to trick him into killing a turkey, and Junior doesn't want any part of murder because that's what he considered it as. So, uh, you know. And do you ever get starstruck with any of the voices who come in? Yeah, yeah, I do sometimes. We have uh, Brian Cranston coming in as uh, the new family doctor. So uh, I worked with Brian back in the day, but I'm a little starstruck about him. It's, it's very cool to have him on the show. And, you know, we had these guys, you know, Nicki Minaj, the list goes on. Uh, I believe Rosie Perez is back. So, yeah, it never gets old. That never gets old. You know.